Hello and welcome back to Solasta. We're neck deep in a some kind of cave. Oh, we should go in caution mode. Oops. We've got something over here. Could be a trap. Do you think it's a trap? Uh oh. It actually was a trap. Uh oh. Let's disarm the trap. Mm, critical success. Not sure what the trap was. Do you think that... What is this? Oh, it's just a... Uh, some Someone's storage. We don't need the club, but we'll take the rations. Sure. Um, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, an interactable object, I'm just going to interact with it. I don't even know what it does. I don't even know what it could possibly do. I'm just going to interact with it and see what it does. Looks like this one uh, gives us access to this spare room. Secret room. Secret room with secret treasures inside. No, actually, just an, another rock to push. Oh, no, maybe not. It's got a journal on it. Can anyone read that? It's all Timarian. It looks like part of an Inquisitor's outfit. So that's from the tower up there. Maybe we're inside the tower. This is history. History all around us. Take it and let's move. The Sorax don't care about history, I'm sure. Yeah, that voice works a bit better for Herc. <clears throat> I like this old voice for sure. It's, it was kind of uh, charming in its <clears throat> inappropriateness. But, uh, you know, I like this more. It suits him. Tell the captain's wife what exactly? What do we got going on here? What do we got going on over there? What is this? What's that? What is all of this? What is any of this? Open the map, huh? Oh, look at that. It's some kind of contraption. Oh, I do love a contraption. Kind of a one-way bridge, in a way. So we've got reptilian tracks. Sorax, maybe? It seems to me um, we can access this after whatever next combat we've got going on. And uh, undoubtedly we've got a combat coming up here. We can hear some oh there's a there's a combat up there a, a combat there's a lad there's a combat can we hit them from here yes get that surprise round you know get that extra damage they know we're here and they know where we are Okay, we're good. Yeah, I figure there's more than just two of them there. We can... There's others going on. Um, what is Herc going to do? Herc is... Uh, not in a great situation. Can he maybe throw a venomous spike at this guy? Good. Did they succeed at something? They only took one damage. Herc rolls a dex a stealth ability. Oh, I guess they see they see where Herc is. That's what that roll was. Um, don't like where we are right now. We don't really have any cover. I'm wondering if it would actually be a good idea to move back and uh, force them to come to us. So far, it looks like we've got at least... Well, we've got... In the, uh, on the initiative board, we've got... What is that? Six? Oof. Who's that? Callan. Callan taking poison damage. 
Um, Bronlar, can we actually hit any of them? Disadvantage, right, because we've got... Uh... <sighs> He's a human. I keep forgetting that. I really wish we could delay our attack. I don't know how to do it. I'll have to check this check out the uh, like do some research afterwards Because it would be better if you could delay past um, Gertrude who can cast light on one of them We can ready a ranged attack Beryl is also humanoid so we'll also have her um, ready a ranged attack There is a heckin' lot of them, huh? Now, that's not really what I meant when I said ready a, a, a ranged attack. I really, really wish we could delay their turn. So, we're gonna cast Shine on this lad here so that we can all do some focus damage on that guy. Do um could do a heal on Kalan. Nice. Fully healed. This is not a great place we're in, so we're gonna definitely want to move back. We need some cover, you know. There's all kinds of stuff over here. There's even, uh, there's probably some stalactites that we can take advantage of. Oh, wow, these guys are very agile, huh? Uh, from here, they can reach nothing. Let's back up a bit. And can we still hit, can we hit the one that's long range attack? So we're going to be <laughs> disadvantaged again. Wow, rude, actually. We'll back up. We have a cover behind Gertrude. Well, that's nice. It's good for us. It's a good, strong hit. That one's almost dead. Should have done a Hunter's Mark on it. Oh, well. I'll do a Hunter's Mark on someone else so that we can start hitting them next. Good lord, there is there is quite a lot of these lads. Cannot hit them. Out of range. Um probably not a great idea to like move closer. All of this is kind of bad. I guess I'm going to move closer. Probably wasn't a great idea also to kill the only thing that was casting light. And you know, you don't have to necessarily um, kill the thing that's casting light. You can... Because it, it's going to let you attack everyone around that um, creature. So we want to cast light on someone who's like in in amongst amongst everyone else. Ugh. Focus entirely on avoiding attacks until the start of your next turn. Could, I wonder if we do this, do we have disadvantage on like this guy? No. Okay, we could hit this guy. Nice. Um, I guess we'll go into a rage not we should have done that right away I, I should be doing some of these things like in the right order We've got sacred flame We've also got guiding bolt. I, I think it's a good idea to maybe use this now Excellent Not not bad at all could have done more damage for sure, but at least we hit them 
They missed. So it's a very strange place to be hitting them. Um, I believe Guiding Bolt also marks a target for, to, to be easier to hit. So we'll we'll hit them with someone else. Oh, wow. That was awful. Missed with advantage is seriously embarrassing. They failed their athletics check, so we are going to get a kind of a free pass to hit them. Soar, a Cath Warrior is prone. So that, I mean, apparently we get disadvantage on that. I wonder if we can move up. We could move up and actually try and smack him with a, with a sword. Yeah. And we got a crit. We got a crit for our, our good insight there. Um, I believe that one is marked, but they're also prone. So we'll just hit someone else. Wow. Yeah, not good. These guys can do range hits too, but they look it looks like they're coming over, which is not terrible for us. Attack of opportunity, yes. And they they hit it. This guy is apparently going to take attacks of opportunity from a bunch of people. I don't know why. I'm not sure why they did that. And they're continuing to take damage from us. We could do a healing word. I don't know if anyone needs it. I guess Bronlar could probably use a, a word of encouragement. Full healing. Nice. Miss. Interesting that this creature here, like, I don't, I, I guess they can pass through uh, each other, so it, it shouldn't matter, but the fact that he's, like, against the wall here is kind of interesting. I'm not going to switch off the, the, uh, the torch. We could possibly, we would take an attack of opportunity. I'm wondering, can we shove this guy off? Yes, and they took some extra damage for doing so. Probably not as much as if we had just attacked them, but it's fun, you know? Um, we could also shoot them. I think they're knocked prone. But I, I think that means they get an advantage on their uh, AC. Yeah, or we get a disadvantage. That's kind of a bummer. It shouldn't mean disadvantage because the fact that they're knocked prone means that they don't get their dexterity um, to their AC check. It should mean something like that, but whatever. Uh, let's just move up to this guy and see if we can't hit him with a melee attack. We haven't really even seen this character's melee attack. Nice. Killed them. Miss, because Bronlar's got really good armor. It'd be kind of fun if we could do, like, a jumping smack attack on this warrior. I don't think we can, but let's let's see anyway. Nah. Turn undead, cast spell. And I've just switched to a weapon that I can't use, so we'll go ahead and uh, prioritize dodge. You'll have to forgive me for, like, trying to do some weird stuff. He tried to shove Robar off. He failed to do so. Um, so why don't we take a page out of their book? Uh, book. Nice. They only took one damage, huh? So now we'll, uh, why don't we take advantage of the situation? We'll use our action surge. Oh, they might be in darkness right now. It's unlit, yeah. So I guess the advantage and disadvantage both cancel each other out. Uh, 
Uh, I was hoping we could um, grab what was in that bag, but that's fine. Can we hit that is unlit out of dark vision range? Ah, right. So let's just move forward. They're also in cover, but we are quite the good ranger. Um, Herc has dark vision, should be able to do some nice damage against this guy with advantage. Nice. Ooh, an 18 to hit. They did hit, um, was that? Who is that? Callan? Ow! Herc taking nine damage from that guy. They also have regeneration, I'm just noticing now. can't hit that guy. Can we hit that guy? We can, but with disadvantage. Um, can we shove this guy off the wall? Target is out of reach. Okay, let's just attack them. We'll do a reckless attack. Nice. Um... Barrel Stonebeard, what can she do? She could possibly also attack that guy on the wall. Nice little weave there. Nice. Very good damage, actually. Uh, who could use healing? Herc could? I think he can probably take another attack. Oh my god. The healing. Okay, we're going to switch back to the crossbow. Um, disadvantage, huh? She can hit this guy, though. Oh, she missed. Let's get back up here and see if we can't... Actually, this guy's in dark, uh, in darkness, so not going to be great. It's going to be disadvantage, long-range attack, and unlit. What does that even look like? We actually had a crit 20 uh, on our on our roll. I guess you can't have disadvantage twice. You can't like you're not rolling like three d20s and taking the lowest. That'd be kind of brutal. Um, can we make you lose concentration on hunter's mark? Who's who's uh, marked right now? This one. Okay, cool. They're already marked, so let's uh, shoot them. Miss. This guy um, hurting Herc is kind of bad for business. Why don't we go ahead and do like a poison spray on them? They succeeded their save. That's the problem with those kind of spells. That's why I generally speaking don't like to use them. They failed their attack. Um, definitely Kalan needs some healing now. Unlit. Can we move down there and try and attack it? Oh, we're going to take an attack of opportunity. They missed, though. I'd really like to kill this guy. They are just, like, refusing to die. Nice. We'll put... Uh, barrel in this in this position here nice good hit ouch well they missed it was doom laughter i guess we succeeded our um will saving throw can we please kill this man he still not dead holy crap okay we need to um give kalan some health Okay, well, at least they missed the attack opportunity. I really would like to kill this thing. Finally. My goodness. So there's two, just two of them left. 
Is Bronlar okay? Oh, I see he's doomed. He's got that doom thing going on. Um, let's go like here. We'll have a good line of sight on all these creatures. There we go. That's one dead. Okay, Herc. Um, what can Herc do? If he goes here, can he see that other guy? Nope. What about here? Yes. Throw a venomous spike at this thing. Missed. Bummer. Fortunately, they also missed. Um, we're not, we're in a weird position here. I can't really see anything. Can we attack from there with disadvantage? So we'll try it anyway. Yeah, I mean that, that was bad. Disadvantage, huh? We need to cast light on that guy. Let's get a little bit closer. We'll attack with disadvantage for now. Oh, that wasn't disadvantage. Nice. I guess we were at disadvantage because of the the range. Gertrude, you are going to cast light on that thing. Oh, target is out of range. Okay, let's get a bit closer then. They succeeded their their save, so they are not lit up. So we're just going to be shooting with disadvantage. We only have five arrows left with our longbow here. Good shot. Ooh, that was a really good shot. Herc is like in this awful position right now. Can he hit from there? Yes. So let's, let's just continue hitting from there. Good hit. We, we did it. We failed our survival check. Not sure what that was for. Look at all the money and stuff, though. Let's have someone else carrying some of this stuff. We're starting to... Um, Bronlar is starting to get a little bit encumbered. We've got tons of money. We're getting tons of money, so we should be able to prepare a little bit better um, next time we come into town. I don't know why it always defaults to Bronlar. I guess because I'm I've got him selected as I do stuff. This is a very strange environment, I must say. Generally speaking, I think Celeste is pretty forgiving when it comes to giving the player time to breathe between combats. Oh, we, uh, looks like, uh, Bronlar and Herc leveled up. Corrosive bolts. Ooh. Good arm, Super. So we can do some interesting, like, jumps over there. Uh, Kellen's running out of ammo, so we might want to give her what Herc had. We could go back and perform another long rest. Kind of want to see what's over here. There, there can't be nothing, right? So have everyone just kind of meet up back here. There is seriously like nothing over here. Wild. Yeah. 
Okay, um, who's hurt? Callan is still hurt. And Herc is hurt. So, uh, worthy of a short rest, I think. Nice, fully healed. Callan. And, uh, that was not a lot, actually. We could always go back and do a long rest, but I think we're good to, to press on. Open the map. Ancient library. Nice of them to show us all the stuff that we've done. Like all the chests we, we've looted. I don't know if I've saved the game yet. Yeah, I would definitely like to save the game. Um, let's do ancient library. This is, you know... Good practice, probably, to save more often than, than I am. Mm, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got something over here. Oh, you know what? Caution mode. Is that just, like, mushrooms? Goblin hair fungus. Yeah. So there's our exit, but you know, uh, you know, I'm always going to want to check out what uh, the full dungeon has to offer. What is this over here? I think we're going to want Herc to do this because he's got the good strength check. You'd think that Bronlar might. Also, um, hmm. I think Gertrude, use power or cast spell. What do we got here? Bless, saving throws and attack rolls. Um... I think if I do this on Herc, then he might have a better chance of succeeding here. Apparently I can do it to three people at once. No path or destination. Oh, really? Looks like there's a bunch of stuff over there. I thought that maybe he could do a jump. Um, wait a minute. Do you have... You don't have the jump spell. I think if I, um... I guess it's probably a rest would let us, um, prepare different spells. None. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's a long rest. So, uh, we could come back here later. I don't like leaving a box unchecked like that. We did waste a level one spell. I really thought that I was going to be able to make that jump. But we get to leave the cave. There's probably going to be something waiting for us outside. We're safe. We still have to go back to Kergithlin. The road isn't far. I suppose we'll meet again in Kergithlin. Are you good to return by yourselves? Aye. Of course. Okay. So that looks to be that, I guess. I guess we can't check out the... Like, I, I thought there was going to be a bit more waiting for us, but no. Um, We should be able to do some crafting. But I might need uh, some more tools to do stuff like that. We can make arrows or crossbow bolts. We probably want to make some arrows. So let's craft some arrows. Um, we'll have Gertrude crafting something. No, nothing. We need her to get a scroll kit. That's what we need her to do. And we'll also craft some crossbow bolts. Um, since I do use a lot of arrows, it might be good to get some more arrows. All right, so we're just going to travel normal pace. Ah, yeah, travel settings. Here we go. Um, I still feel like I would like to interrupt when the long rest is completed. I don't know. We'll see what not doing that does. Wait a minute. Party did not find any useful ingredients. Callan has finished crafting the arrow. Herc plays a game of skill with stones. 
party starts to rest. Herc has finished crafting the crossbow bolt. Bronlar is... Wow, they, they, they finished that really quick, didn't they? Um, everyone can level up. So let's level us up. Bronlar is now a level 3 barbarian. Gained 8 more hit points. I have to wonder if that's just static. Like, that's... You just always get 8. At third level, you choose a path that shapes the nature of your rage. Unlock the class features. Additional rage use. So here we're going to pick um, our path. We don't get access to Path of the Claw because we don't have, what was it? Lost Valley. Barbarians following this path draw their strength from the concentration to stone. They are known for their doggedness and they never give up on in the face of the of adversary, adversity and thrive in hostile environments. Mage Bane. Um, while raging a ma mage bane who takes damage from spells or other ma magical attacks can use their reaction to unleash a powerful war cry dealing psychic damage. You can go into a frenzy when you rage. If you do so, you're, for the duration of your rage, you can make a single melee attack, a weapon attack, as a bonus action on each of your turns. Wow, that sounds really good. You suffer one level of exhaustion unless you make a successful DC 10 con. Well, we do have a pretty good DC. Um, and then Path of the uh, Stone, you gain temporary HP equal to twice your proficiency bonus at the end of your turn. That sounds a lot less interesting. I think it's Berserker mode for me. Level 3 Cleric. Yeah, it must be 8 hit points every time. Uh, cleric spellcasting spell slots, we gain access to two second level spell, ca uh, spell slots. We're definitely going to want to look at those. We have Lesser Restoration and Spiritual Weapon, which is really fun. We get to summon a weapon, a spirit weapon that uh, fights for us. Grants temporary powers to an ally for up to one hour. Blindness would be good. Um, I guess our two slots are just filled with our domain spells. Which is kind of a bummer. You just have to take these. But you know what? I'm not too upset. Remove a detrimental uh, condition. These are good spells. I mean, these are the way the reasons we take our domain in the first place. Um, Herc. What is Herc going to get? He gets second level spells as well. Um, he gets grant dark vision to the target. I mean, that's actually really good. Uh, we only have one unit that doesn't have dark vision, so it's maybe not as useful as something else. Like, we could give uh, an ally AC of at least 16, so that would work for Dirk. Moonbeam is also pretty cool, as I recall. Conjures a vertical column of moonlight, which causes radiant damage. Shape, sh shape changers have disadvantage on the, sh uh, on the save, right? Heat metal causes metallic armor worn by a target creature to glow red hot. These are, we're starting to get into um, a part, the, the part of D&D &D where it's like, you can't take, like, you don't want to take a skill that, like, you can't take the catch-all skill. You can't take the catch-all spell. These are circumstantial for a reason. And the reason is you have to, um, like, prepare for the, for the circumstance, uh, you know, with a bit of foresight, right? Evokes a fiery blade the for 10 minutes. I like this. I'll take uh, I'll take that. Our flaming sphere might be good as well. Movable burning sphere. I don't know how much damage that does. 2d6 save for half. So that's kind of cool. Um, how long does it last? One minute. Generally speaking, a turn is six seconds. Or our, a round is six seconds, I guess. I'll take the uh, flame sword. Uh, one additional hit die. Select a ranger archetype that will guide you in your travels. One spell to select. Detect the presence of certain creature types in the location. So we learn something we can do. Shadow Tamer used to wandering the desolate lands beyond the march marches. They know the lore and languages of darkness and the hazards and customs of those dreadful capes caves inhabited by monsters we get tunnel wisdom when in dim light or darkness you gain advantage on dexterity saving throws 
Probably want to go Marksman, Herbalism Kit, or Poisoner's Kit. Oh, yeah. We definitely want something like Marksman. When a visible op opponent two cells or more from you attacks you with a ranged weapon or, or a spell, you can use your reaction to take a shot after the triggering attack. That's actually quite good, too. Or a Hunter. Choose one of the following hunting specialties. Colossus Slayer, Giant Killer, or Horde Breaker. Your tenacity can wear down the most potent of foes. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra 1d8 damage if it's below its hit point maximum. You can deal this extra damage only once per turn. Well, that's pretty good, honestly. That's almost as good as just poison. Giant Killer. When a large or larger creature within one cell of you hits or misses you with an attack, you can use your reaction to attack that creature immediately after its attack. Or Horde Breaker. Once on each of your turns, when you down an opponent, you can make another attack with the same weapon using a different or against a def different creature. I think I like uh, Marksman. The Hunter is really tempting, but Marksman is cool, and I, I like the idea of making our own poison arrows. Um, we definitely want subclass tools. Choose one tool among Herbalism Kit or Poisoner's Kit. We definitely want Poisoner's Kit. Cool. And we get to pick a spell. Kind of wouldn't mind Goodberry. Choose a beast that you can see within a spell's range. The beast must make a wisdom saving throw or be charmed for the spell's duration. The duration being 24 hours. Wow. Cure Wounds is nice and all, but we have enough people that can do Cure Wounds. Goodberry would be nice because then we basically recover at each rest. Uh, Animal Friendship, though. I mean, they're a ranger. It would be cool to take the thing that is very much meant for a ranger. I guess we can take two skills. Wouldn't mind taking Jump. This is pretty good. Okay. We might get a combat. We have 42 units of food. They did not want us to run out of food in this game. Starts the game at dice. I love these little uh, tiny events here. Catches hairs. So we caught some food. Use a find a mysterious item. Use detect magic first to determine whether it has magical properties. If it does, use identify to learn how to use it. Quest completed. New quest started. Meet with Karen. Okay, let's do um, a quick travel. Is that Karen there? That's Lord Karen. Yeah, let's... Okay, so we're going to go to the Gravekeep's cask. Travel interrupted. Hello, Annie. You're back. How did it go? Well, Captain Henrik is dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, who's in charge then? Well, not your fault. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. Mm, also, yeah, we wanna we wanna talk to her about the stuff. Clear skies, my friend. Okay. Well, thank you. I guess that's stay in the light, my friend. I'm not sure I understand. Unless uh like, maybe it shows up in one of these chests or something? I don't know. We can so store some stuff. I guess, like, Sorek Poisonous Spine.
Apparently someone's interested in this silent whisper parchment. So we would we would want to um give that to someone. I thought that they were going to um grab all of the stuff. I thought that was the whole point of the scavengers headquarters. Well, we'll figure it out later maybe. Listen, we can't wait around here. What we've got is big. The outpost at KLM has been attacked. Almost all of the garrison was killed. By all the gods! Meet me in the council chamber. I'll inform my superiors. The Legacy Council is now in session. Captain Merrin has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, your Royal Highness, my party and I have made a very worrying discovery in the Badlands, near the place we call Black Hill. We saw a group that we took to be scavengers. They attacked us right away, but we were able to fight them off. They were trying to get away with this. What is it? This box contains a gem. A ruby, it appears. We have determined that it has magical properties, and we believe the Council should examine it. So we will, Captain. But really, is that all? You called an emergency meeting of the council for a simple magical gem? Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. Please, Lord Denantar. In this chamber, I am just a student of magic. Here, here. Anyway, Captain, the council has a great deal of business. They were Sorax, oh. our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Hmm. Sorax? Is this a joke? The Sor attack are no laughing. That's some legit armor. What do you mean, my lord? How many times has the council heard tales of these so-called Sorax? At least 20, I'd say. More. 23. Yes, more each year. It's becoming a fad. Our church has been warning of the Sor Akath since humans first came to Celasta. In the wake of their foul god, Sortar. I'm sorry, Captain, but... You are certain that you encountered Sorax? If you doubt her word, you can trust ours. We fought Sorax ourselves. What? And who might you be? Some new recruits, my lord. They were sworn in quite recently. New recruits, eh? They place too much stock in rumor, it seems. They assure me that they saw Sorax as well. Wait, do you realize how serious this is? They attacked the Kerlem outpost. The garrison suffered severe losses. Care Lem? The outpost in the marches? What do you mean by heavy losses? The Sorax took over Captain Hemrick, and only two of them are still alive. They can testify, too. Do you have any material proof of their existence? I beg your pardon? Like what? I mean, we do. Well, a dead body, for example? We've got some poisonous <laughs> spines. If we go to Care Lem, will we find the bodies of these Sorax? Probably not. They took their dead with them when they retreated. The bodies of their victims, too. Hmm, how very convenient. So you can offer us no proof of this adventurous fable. And what if proof were to be brought before the council? What proof? How? If the Sorax take away their fallen, as they say, that's not our problem. Let them find a way. These are new recruits, correct? Then let this be their new mission. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. That would certainly be proof, Lord Fasek, would it not? Oh, very well. Meanwhile, the council will examine the gem. Uh, if there is nothing else... Dean Ayala Fasek of the Tower of Knowledge calls for a recess. Does any member object? No? It is resolved then. The Legacy Council is now in recess. Okie dokie. 
kind of prudes, aren't they? Or maybe just that one guy. I'm sure she will appreciate your support anyway some people might want to talk to you after this working for the council you are expected to be neutral but but you have the right to have friends so feel free to talk to whoever you like as long as your allegiance remains to the council as a whole all right then hey deputies thanks for the support in there you're welcome captain so those bastards got Henrik. Shame. You knew him? Yes, indeed. I wonder who volunteered to retake KLM now. The scavengers could lead the way. Yes, they'll find a bunch of hotheads to retake the fort, I'm sure. Stay in the light, friends. You too. All right. Talk to Annie. First mission accomplished, talk to Beryl, new objective, talk to Daliot. What? What are all these objectives flying around? Talk to one of the survivors for survivors from Care Lim. Um, let's look at her journal for a second. Find Robar, Robar, and ask him if he knows anything. Take a look around Sunblaze Court. Okay. And then secondary requests, new business. Go to Annie, claim Care Lim. Oh, I guess that's what um, what I wanted to do in the first place. I'm not sure uh, which factions offer what in terms of like benefits. And this is always my kind of trouble is like, I don't know who what faction I uh, want to make friends with because you know, generally speaking, you make friends with factions for, like, the ultimate reward of well, what is exclusive to them. Right, Daliat. Where did he go before the Sorax attacked? As far as I know, there's not a name for this place or road that leads there. But I can show you on the map. It's near the ruins of an ancient tower. Thank you, Beryl. We appreciate the help. What are you thanking me for? Sending you to your death? Indifference. So let's uh let's see what the um what are these guys called acclimites uh antiquarians what they have to offer i guess this guy belongs to the antiquarians but uh outside of that so we have people that belong to antiquarians but we can't really necessarily talk to a faction Okay, um, we've got Annie Bagmorda. Let's go there. Claim care. Was it care Ken? Hello, Annie. We wanted to talk about care Lem. Care Lem. I'm all ears. No one's there anymore. Ah, you want to claim the place. How does it work again? We go there and scavenge everything you didn't take, and you get a percentage. We can't promise you it's safe. <laughs> it never is. Once we get there, we'll set up an outpost of our own. I'll check with the council first, but thanks anyway. What do we do next? Once we've done our work, I'll let you know. You'll just have to come by and collect your share. Hmm. Heading to these locations to collect and bring back the loot left behind. Show encounter related expeditions. Somewhere along the road. Huh. Not sure what uh, this tells me, but it's interesting. 
Oh, I see. These are they're they're heading to the places where I had uh, encounters and grabbing the stuff I left behind. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. When you have cleared a location of monsters, go to any scavenger outpost to report your deeds. They will send their people there to collect the minor loot left and sell it. Each time you visit a scavenger HQ, you can claim the money they owe you. They take a portion of the total value of what they brought back. You also have the chance to buy back some of the collected stuff beforehand. You don't have to talk to the scavenger quartermaster to use the system. You can click on the sign nearby. Neat. Okay, um, so travel to the ancient tower is our next quest. We're definitely not doing that yet. We're going to probably want to equip up a little bit before we do. Um, I definitely want a poisoner's kit. There we go. That's our, probably our first purchase. And you know what I would love is a, um, thieves tools. No, I want a scroll making kit with spell book belt component pouch. I'm not sure. Um, universal. I'm not sure if we need that. Do we need that? Does everyone have one of those? Backpack. Um, okay, we want to buy this at the very least. Herbalism kit, scroll kit, there we go. Um, if I switch, okay, if I switch it uh, undoes the purchase. Okay, so let's buy these. Tymerian Tim Holy Symbol. Tower of Knowledge or Antiquarians would be interested in this. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that information just yet. So I think for the time being, I might put um, items like that away in our storage. Maybe if you, uh, I mean, if you've made it this far into the uh, uh, episodes, thank you very much for tagging along. I really appreciate it. But maybe if you uh, do know how to make use of items like these, who I'm supposed to give them to or sell them to, uh, you could let me know. Okay, so we're going to give the herbalism kit, no, we're going to give the poisoner's kit to Kalan. And now we have the ability to make some pretty interesting things. Craft their own bolts and arrows. I don't know why they have two of them. So let's maybe give one to someone else. Does Gertrude have one already? No. Okay, so she's we're, we're good there. Um, I don't know why she's got two candles. Oh, what's this? We've got maybe a quest board. Pick up quests. These boards offer you the opportunity to take on optional quests. It is quite simple. Accept a quest from a client, perform the required actions, and return to a board to collect your reward. Some of these quests are more dangerous than they may seem. Sorak Relic. I've attacked the outpost of Kerr Lem in the marches. They have... Of traces, weapons, something, search their camp in the caves. Bring back any piece of equipment that could be of Sor Akath origin. The Church of Einar. Reward a vial of stardust. Recommended level 4. Or goblin culture. You encountered goblins in the caves at Kerlem. They There are scholars at the Tower of Knowledge who believe that the go goblins have evolved a written language. So go back there, find a potential example of goblin writing, and bring it back to a quest board. Interesting. Involves going back to Care Lem. That's that's an interesting idea. Sure, let's uh, let's do that. Um, I'll take this one as well. It seems to me this the both both of these involve going back to Care Lem. Um, still want to buy a couple of things. Let's go to our, um, general store. Don't have a lot of money left. Qu 
quarterstaff and a stick. Another way of saying that is stick. Morning star. Uh, war hammer. I don't think that. Um, I don't know if anyone can use that. Our mace is a uh, 1d6. It'd be kind of nice if we could give her um, a war hammer. I don't know if Gertrude is proficient. Ah, so it does tell me if they if she is proficient. So that tells me that um, she can actually wield this war hammer. So let's go ahead and buy that for her. And I'm just going to go ahead and sell her old weapon. It's not worth much, but... And uh, we could buy some projectile parts. They're really um, kind of cheap. Very, very cheap. And we can make uh, weapon like arrows and stuff with them. So one thing, at this point, what I'd like to do is, uh, see, can we do any crafting? I'd like to do some crafting with um, Kalan. Let's see if she can do any, no, she can't. We need some Skarn powder. So let me see if we can buy any Skarn powder. This is why we need to check these things. Do you have, excuse me, good sir, do you have any Skarn powder? I know, I'm fresh out, I'm afraid. Well, that just sucks. A lot. Oh, I see. We can uh, click the store for quick shopping. Is this Skarn powder? No, that's not Skarn powder. Oh, that's Skarn powder. Your status with the Principality of Masgarth faction is Sympathy. You need Alliance to purchase this item. Well, that's a bummer. So she, this, this character is a Principality of Masgarth. Okay, let's have a quick look to see if we have any items that um, jive with the uh, Principality of Masgarth. We do not. Okay. Okay. Also, I'm noticing that we have scroll of detect poison and disease and scroll of identify. These should be uh, on, you know, the person of... Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Um, okay, well, that's, that's just going to about do it for this episode. Uh, I can do a little bit of inventory management. You can let me know maybe in the comments if... Um, you would care to even see me prepare for future adventures or if that's something you'd like to see me do off camera and and we don't have to worry about it too much uh, i have been known to do that in the past um for various series but uh with that being said we're off to our next adventure um to this some kind of ancient tower and we also have to go back to Carolem uh for various reasons i don't think that there's anything else we can do here um no one else to talk to so yeah we'll head out after this if you are enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy